A few months back, there was a little bit of a buzz about a new Switch line that popped up in Jian's web store. The Raw Switches. Starting with the Key Geek Raw, but quickly expanding to different Raw Switches from various manufacturers? Jian's idea was to create a standard that would let enthusiasts compare the Switch characteristics of different manufacturers. Today we're going to compare all six Raw Switches. So fasten your seatbelts. Let's get raw, right after you. Smash that like button. <laughs> I'm like kind of sick right now, but... When am I not sick? When are my kids not sick? I don't know, man. You tell me. Before we get started, my room is a disaster once again, because I'll actually be moving in the next few weeks, so a lot of my room is either packed or in the process of being packed up. Unfortunately, my desk mats are already packed, so I'll be using this key mat for the next few videos I've got planned, so the sound might be a little less dampened than we're used to. I also don't have my second camera set up, so I'll be channeling my inner shoes and only using an overhead shot, but I'll be posting my thoughts on all the switches on the screen during the sound tests. Let me know what you think about the format. First up is a switch that started it all, the Key Geek Raw. I hadn't heard of Key Geek before the Raw switches, but after doing some research with some help from Lester over at Pantheon Keys, Key Geek is the microswitch subsidiary of Yueking Yueking Tongda, Yueking Tongda? which is a microswitch manufacturer that's been in business since at least 1990. The Key Geek Raw is a long pole linear switch with an umwhoop blend top, a nylon, silicon, and umwhoop blend bottom, and an L2 palm blend stem. It has a 22mm long single stage spring with a 57.5 gram bottom out and total travel of 3.7mm. Now there's a lot to unpack there, and I'll be doing a full review of the Key Geek Raws to talk about some of the more interesting aspects of the switch, but let's go to a stock typing test. Next we have the B-Sun Raw Linear. I did a bio on B-Sun in my B-Sun X review, but they're a lesser known manufacturer that has the distinction of being the original manufacturer of the Invir Panda of Holy Panda fame. The B-Sun Raw is a long pull linear with a polycarbonate top, a nylon bottom, and an umwhoop stem. The spring is a 21 millimeter long single stage spring with a 60 gram bottom out force and the total travel is 3.4 millimeters. One thing to note is there is also a B-Sun Raw Tactile, which is clear and comfortable with a tactile stem, but we won't be looking at those today. Here's a quick typing test of the B-Sun Linears. Next we have the Gatoron Raw, and Gatoron needs no introduction. The Gatoron Raw is a long pull linear with a PC top, a nylon bottom, and a palm stem. The spring is a 15mm long single stage spring with a 62.5 gram bottom out and total travels listed at 3.7mm. Let's take a listen to this pretty vanilla offering from Gatoron. Next up we have a kind of contentious pick, the Haimu Raw. Haimu is a newer manufacturer, and in my video on the Haimu Silence, I mentioned that their designer was an ex-Kale engineer that had helped design the Gazoo Boba U4Ts. After speaking with Gazoo on that claim, I'm issuing a retraction, as to his best knowledge, there's no truth to that claim. So Haimu, if you're watching this, maybe you should reach out to Temu and get that sorted. 
In any event, Haimu has been releasing great designs all on their own, so let's focus on the here and now. The Haimu Raw is a long pull linear with a full palm housing and an umwhip stem, and a 22mm long single stage spring with a 57.5g bottom out. The other unique feature of the Haimu Raws is the RGB diffuser, which is a nice touch and reminds me of another Haimu manufactured switch that's full palm with an RGB diffuser <coughs> more Andy, that I actually really enjoyed. If you stick around, maybe there'll be a bonus round? But for now, let's take a listen to these switches. Next we have the Huano Raws. I've never reviewed a Huano switch on this channel, but according to this Theremin Goat review, Huano got their start in 2012 designing micro switches for gaming mice, and they started making keyboard switches in 2014 after Cherry's patent lapsed. While they mainly focused on mice switches, they've been making a push in the last few years with several new switch designs, including these banana switches manufactured for Ajaz. According to Switch & Click, they're also an OEM for brands like Akko and Fecker. The Huano Raw is a long pole linear with a PA66 nylon housing and a palm stem. The spring is a 16mm long single stage spring with a 52.5 gram bottom out and 3.8mm total travel. Let's take a listen. Last but not least, we have the Texi Raw. Texi probably doesn't need an introduction at this point, as they took the mechanical keyboard space by storm back in 2021 with switches like the Neapolitan, and they're also known for releasing several proprietary materials like PA666, HPE, and PME. The Texi Raw is a long pull linear with a mixed nylon housing and a HPE stem. The spring is a 22mm long single stage spring with 57.5g bottom out and 3.5mm of total travel. Interestingly, the Texi Raws are the only ones of the six to feature a Gion logo on the top housing. Let's take a listen. So if your head isn't spinning by now, mine definitely is, so here's a chart showing the differences between the switches. And while they're all long pulled to different degrees, the different materials play a large part in their different sound signatures. This video is getting pretty long, so I'll be posting a part 2 where I compare all the switches lubed with a uniform spring across all of them so we can get a better controlled comparison between the switches. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm MakerMods, and I'll catch you in the next video.